welcome to this week's video. For most of May, I have been reading East of Eden by John Steinbeck, and I really wanted to read this because a couple years ago I read Grapes of Wrath, and that's one of my favorite books. So far, I do really enjoy it, but I do have to say I don't like it as much as Grapes of Wrath. Um, I was kind of expecting to because I think a lot of people um, who've read both of those books like East of Eden more. Compared to Grapes of Wrath, East of Eden has a lot more layers in it. There's um, a lot of little parts of the story that are being interwoven and overlapped. So that's an interesting part of the book. And other than East of Eden, I just read this graphic novel, um, Beautiful Darkness. This is a French comic and I've been wanting to read more French comic works. I think the only French comic I ever read was Tintin and that was a long time ago back in elementary school. So I thought this was a good place to start and I picked it because I was looking for graphic novels or comics with beautiful artwork and this one popped up in my search. It's hard to talk about the plot without giving everything away but it's just about these little spirits who are suddenly put out into the natural world and they have to find a way to survive. It's not exactly scary, but there are definitely moments that are creepy. And those moments are related to like death and dying, and it is a wonderful contrast with the rather cute and dainty artwork of this comic. And I read this in one sitting and I'm going to read it again because it is quite a short read and I highly recommend it. update with my cat in the background. Um, I was on the train and it was a long train ride so I read about 50 pages of East of Eden and I don't know what it was about the last 50 pages but it blew my mind. <laughs> I'm at a really good point at the book where a lot of exciting things are happening. Um, I love Lee's character. I love how Kathy's character is being developed right now. And I'm also liking Lisa. Liza? Um, Samuel Hamilton's wife. So yeah, I'm about halfway done with the book now and I'm excited to keep going.